This is for anyone sun, moon, rising, and Venus in the sign of Pisces. And as always, a general read. Um, so these general reads are truly about your soul transition, the energies that I'm feeling and sensing during meditation. Um, I'm not going to be so specific with the details because we're going to focus on our internal, our spirit and our soul and the growth. Um, but overall energies here, Pisces, is of course you, Queen of Cups and Seven of Wands. And literally when I got these cards, it was more about self-care, self-care, self-love. Um, I think you're, you're intuitively knowing that right now is a time to give yourself compassion. Um, with the Seven of Wands, this is about protecting your energy. I feel this is a need to have, um, you know, a, a level of persevering, perseverance as well and maintaining control because it's on, if we're at the Seven of Wands, we could be on a defensive too in terms of either needing, again, that protection of our energy. And this is why I'm feeling a lot of self-care with you and giving yourself some much needed R&R or mental break and you know that could that could be in any form that you feel you know whether it's a few days off from you know uh, conversations with family um uh, just uh leaving at, at a specific time from work right uh signing off if you guys are remote signing off at a specific time like giving you yourself that self-care and attention to gifts to like find balance is what I'm saying. So this is the spiritual journey oracle. Um, you guys know I love general reads, so uh, bear with me with these energies. Let's see what your soul needs right now during this time. Um, this reading is timeless, as of course, but obviously I'm doing this during the month of, for the energies around September coming, which honestly R&R &R makes sense because we're in Virgo season and I mean, that's the hermit and that's the best time to gather ourselves. It's also a nurturing energy, earth energy ground. Um, so it's grounding your emotions. So spirit, what is the spiritual guidance for Pisces? Oh, wow. Yep. Rediscovery. Peel back the layers of a person or situation to discover what you may not have originally known yeah and that's that seven of wands so you're like protecting your energy because either some of you are discovering persons or situations of of information and receiving information intuitively of things you haven't known healer you are a gift you are gifted with the ability to heal through words thoughts touch and action you may also explore healing work to me this is the healing for you maybe you guys again giving that energy too much to other people and this is what I'm saying, self-care. So if you're a healer, you give a lot at your work environment, you give a lot to your family, maybe your families are the ones who call you more often and always ask for guidance. Maybe, you know, Pisces, you guys can be amazing listeners, but I feel this is a time to um, take a step back and give yourself because I feel like you're, um, they're consuming your energy at this moment. So. Uh, let's see perspective. I want to see the power of perspective of that energy, particularly what's the power of perspective for Pisces. Let's see what we got here. What you visualize will materialize. And we have sometimes in the, in the wind of change, we find a, our true direction. So this is about manifestation. What you visualize will materialize. And so there is a wind of change. So be careful with what we're allowing. I feel this is also another re reason why I feel like a protection of energy because you're materializing things. And again, we're in earth energy. So maybe this is a time of materializing. We are going to enter, you know, October and October is usually a time of harvest. So there are things that are coming to fruition. And sometimes spirit guides us to protect our energy to go in because either it'll be quick change that leads us in the new direction. And so in that time, I think um, stepping back is, is important here. Um, some of you uh, be careful with work situations, right? So what you visualize will materialize. Some of you are really... I, I, I'm hearing that I do feel like being taken advantage of. So, oh yes, the what I and what I'm feeling is um, um, for some of you, someone's taking credit for your stuff. 
So that's very work specific. So someone's taking, someone's, for some of you Pisces, people are taking credit for your work. Uh, so just take note of that as well. So see who those people are, okay? Be mindful. So let's see what you need to allow. What does Pisces need to allow? We have, I allow myself to be in the moment. Wow, this has been, I, I don't, I think this came out twice in earth energy. So it seems like, you know, this Virgo energy is really asking us to be present um, because I mean, there's so many cards and it's like I shuffle them and pre-shuffle them and everything. And yet still similar cards come out. I allow myself to pray with myself and others. So this again, to me, forgive yourself. A lot of you, maybe that nurturing energy, that self-care is to get back into yourself, right? We're in the queen of cups. It doesn't matter, male or female. Queen of Cups represent feminine energy. This means nurture our emotions. So Seven of Wands being on defense, the protective energy where maybe someone really did you wrong for some of you it's at work. And right now, this is a healing time to get past that. Um, Pisces, you know, it's interesting, Pisces. You know, you know, if anyone knows, I'm a Pisces rising and I, I just got an own, my own emotion in this moment. I allow myself to forgive myself and others. And, you know, I've obviously gone through something myself. So it's it's just, it, you, you kind of take a pause sometimes when spirit also wants to speak to you. Um, but yeah, this is about nurturing. And, and, you know, I find myself in a space of wanting to just take a step back as well and heal me um, in this process. So. I feel that healing is very strong for a lot of you and just kind of like redirecting your life. That's why Spirit is saying there's a new, a change of wind right now is bringing a new direction. A wind of change is bringing a new direction. So let's see what you need to surrender. Surrender resentments. Woof. So much about forgiveness here. God, Spirit. Woof. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward towards positive situations in your life. Okay, so clearly spirit is screaming here about our heart space and how we need to kind of release any frustrations or anger towards, you know, situations that hurt us. And again, Pisces, you're water signs. So we're going to feel that, right? We're going to feel these transitions. And I always like to call them processing stages, Pisces, because we always just, Pisces knows how to spend time alone. And it's actually where we do, we do very well for ourselves. So give yourself permission to do that because honestly, you will feel better. Um, so this, this seems like a very big message. I want to pull a major arcana shift for the month of September. So what is Pisces major arcana shift? Let's see what's the major shift that's going to be important for you okay oh i know it look at this pisces virgo energy hermit energy and this deck is called the spiritual teacher so there's a great reward in spending time alone use these moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you shine your light as an example for others to follow seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if you feel like if you feel your life feels unfulfilled right now and then we have judgment review and contemplation so this makes perfect sense you know where it is a time of solitude and is a, a time to kind of reflect you know, and so in this deck, judgment is called review and contemplation. You've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you know, um, just like we have here, right? So contemplate the past and the present. And Spirit said, I allow myself to be in the moment. So Spirit wants you to be present, right? You'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. So there's a time right now to nurture yourself. Queen of Cups is a nurturing energy. And Pisces, to me, being this Virgo season is important. Being in a hermit energy, solitude. What you visualize will materialize. So um, 
finding a positive, the silver lining to whatever is really disturbing you. A lot of you work environments, I feel, because I don't know why that came in strongly. So some of you felt like you've been done wrong. Um, and I can feel that too. So let's see what else we've got. 1111 when I saw right now. So spirit. Wow. Spirit is screaming here. Let's get two more. The way these cards are coming out, Pisces. Wow. Power. There's this is a time to increase your confidence here. Strength. You gotta find strength here. And this is to recharge. Yep, the devil energy. So something really happened to, to a lot of you, Pisces. I, you know. And, and again, no more holding resentment. We do have the nine of swords here in this deck called suffering in silence. And there is there is a release here. Lionsgate probably led up to that. So some of you may have had like something really change in Lionsgate. But the first cards, of course, had to do with cups. We've got cups energy here. This is the four of cups and the ace of cups, five of cups. Still, this, this deck is called discontent and boredom and love begins. So to me, this is about discontent four of cups we're not happy we're missing we're missing something our heart space needs to be cleared our waters are clouded through our emotions here pisces and and so there's a need for healing um we have the emperor energy here uh this could be that person or that situation that you felt disrupted but also um emperor energy represents taking charge back of your life so i think this there's a need to recharge. And then we have stand your ground here. This is the seven of wands again, which is again, your overall energy, that protective energy. And a lot of you will be in some uh, preservation at the moment. And I feel like spirit is saying it's okay because right now, if this is the way Pisces needs to recoup and this is the kind of method you feel is best for you to recover, then that's what you need to do for yourself, Pisces. So let's see what this discontent and boredom is get more of this discontent and boredom so we have another four which is four of pentacles and the seven of cups and i feel this it does feel a little bit emotionally confusing and some of you your your work life has been shaken because this is about stability, four of pentacles. So some of you definitely work life has been shaken. I'm hearing with the seven of, of cups, like, you know, earlier when I got this energy of um, lies being told or people taking credit for your, your work, some of you is like a lot of um, lies, like about who you are um, is being spread in the work environment. Now, for those of you who has to do other than work environment, this is just you needing to emotionally stabilize. The seven of cups could be you being pulled in many directions also emotionally, right? It doesn't necessarily just have to be about work, right? This, read, this reading is about our spirit, our soul. And the seven of cups could represent all the directions you're being pulled at, Pisces. It could be work, relationship, family, like it's like really weighing on some of you and, you know, it... I, it I feel like I'm hearing tipping point here. So give me more of this love begins by the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Pisces energy, the moon and Page of Cups. Lots of water here, Pisces. And, you know, Page of Cups always to me, yeah, Eight of Swords. Page of Cups always represents how do we refill, rejuvenate the water, right? Ace of Cups is the cup. So the cup that the page is holding is how do we nurture this space? The moon is our emotions. There are things that are going much deeper than much deeper than we probably allowed ourselves to believe. And I feel that this is when spirit says no more and you need to come back and recharge power, build strength here and really clear your cup, right? Because the water is clouded. When our emotions are clouded and the, it, it runs deep, that means our waters aren't clear. In order to get our clear water so we can recharge, we've got to nurture the space. So let's see this moon energy. Wow. Wow, a lot of you, again, four of cups and eight of pentacles. I, 
you know, for a lot of you, again, it's about work, your efforts. Um, but I'm going to call it out as an overall because I feel this is like, I think Pisces, a lot of you can agree that sometimes when one area of your life goes haywire, it's almost like it spills. And that's what I'm saying. This, these cups are like, oh my God, things are just spilling and you're questioning. And so the moon here, you know, it's, when I see this eight of pentacles and the four of cups together, it's like my efforts aren't doing anything. You know, it, there's this feeling of like, no matter what you do, you feel like you're behind. Give me more of this eight of pentacles. You know, no matter how much you give, people don't recognize, oh my God, seven of cups and the wheel of fortune. I mean, Pisces, what is going on? I mean, I should know, right? I should know. But this is for a reason. It was faded. Spirit is basically showing you that, yes, your efforts, need, you need to pay attention to your efforts. And then you need to divide and conquer and like almost like re-strategize. And it's faded for you. It was faded for this to come to your attention with the Wheel of Fortune, like in order for you to have this new beginning, your fresh waters. So all this here, Pisces, is clarifying the Ace of Cups. And it's because we need to nurture ourselves, right? That's why you have overall energy queen of cups. So there's a lot about our, your wishes. I'm seeing nine of cups as well, your wishes. And this is about new plans, re-strategizing. I can see why this emperor is here. Give more of this emperor. Cameras emperor. So we have six of cups and queen of swords. Yeah. A lot of you is family. Six of cups can indicate family. Six of cups can indicate your significant other. Six of cups can in indicate your boss energy. And this is where you draw the line. Pisces, queen of swords and spirit is saying, your kindness, six of cups, your kindred spirit, your soul, everything that you've been giving seven of cups is something you're going to have to draw the line on here, you know, and it's a decision because we do have the lovers in the bottom. And then we have eight of wands and there goes the nine of cups. Yeah, because and to me, this eight of wands is this energy surge that happened during Lionsgate. And for me, the lovers has to do with your connections, but also lovers for me always um Lovers for me is is an ascension for me. The lovers deck card. It it also um, is the is oh my god the words are not coming out. The lovers card for me is an is a spiritual ascension where it's the highest vibration of love, one for source, right? How we learn how to nurture ourselves first because you can't nurture others unless you have strong self love um, for yourself and this connection to source um, highly. And so nine of cups is telling me your your emotions need to be nurtured right now and you need to definitely draw the line here with this queen of swords give me more of this queen of swords about what that is for you um for a lot of you like i said yeah judgment you're making this judgment call so spirit is showing you something for you to make a judgment wow and i didn't point out the bottom of the deck here is guidance from spirit. Yeah, you're in a tough situation and spirit is ready to offer guidance if you just ask. And I feel like this judgment is exactly that. Like it's a tough situation and spirit wants you to one hear out, but to also return to yourself so you can understand and think and see clearly where you need to draw the line here. Here more this judgment. This is such an interesting energy here. Yeah, so communication. Look at this. Four of swords during your rest. Four of Swords is rest and rejuvenation. Um, I, I want to point out here, Pisces, there's a lot 444. 444 four, four may be important, and that's also spirit protection. But this time, this there's a need to rebalance also. Emperor is four. This is which is why um, Emperor is here too, because it's like taking back power, which is this strength card. So it's almost like take authority back with the queen, combined with the Queen of Swords. Is this taking authority, making the judgment call? And this page of wands is communication. One, I think you need to vocalize. Eventually, when you're ready, you're going to 
you gotta like this is a, again a page rejuvenate your soul wands are about the soul rejuvenate your soul but also like, the soul is communicating to you during your rest time your soul your guides are communicating you're getting information during your rest rest time to really nurture you you know which is why we have to stand your ground so what's the stand your ground spirit thank you yes beautiful so we have knight of swords two of swords and the tower wow <coughs> we've got empress in the bottom the star and there you go again queen of cups and the sun wow with the eight of pentacles and the four of swords okay pisces i can't even stop there 22 22 right now stand your ground pisces this tower for some of you this could have been already a loss of job and so whoever bad mouthed don't hold resentment this is guiding you into a new direction the reason the solitude it's almost like for some of you this quiet time if some of you lost a job it's like you needed the space to think and this tower was to to basically you know it's unexpected but i feel like eventually your energy will rebuild and I feel the purpose of it is to rebuild, right? The tower in reverse is about rebuilding. So, you know, this is where Pisces energy, right? Number two, it's in the tarot, which is two of swords. Pisces energy mentally needs to start getting back into your space and, in, and trusting your intuition more, which is this queen of cups. Now, all these other energies, I knew it had to do with this Lion's Gate for a lot of you. Because Lion's Gate sometimes, Lion's Gate always brings in lots of change. But it's for a positive change. You've got three major arcanas here. And again, we're talking about rethinking your efforts. A lot of you, it's work. Um, a lot of you, it's just, I, I, I really think it's, for some of you, it's work. But then it spilled over with the Seven of Cups. And, it, and now it's like it puts it put you in a position to re like charge your spirit, your soul, your wants, your desires, your emotions star is healing. And the sun is is to get back into a positive light. So all these emotions that probably was happening with a span of time, because this obviously is not an overnight. You're not going to have resentment of something overnight this this is this has probably been exhausting for some time and then boom it just caught up here pisces so there's a lot to recharge now again i'm not going to specify this needing to be a person at the moment because honestly even if let's say this is a relationship um specifically spirit is still guiding you to heal and to take time for you it, it doesn't even matter how you put this this is about you your rest your rejuvenation you need to think back recharge your life and you're going to know what to do you're you're going to know what to do because you got to rethink about how you've been applying your efforts from here on and again embody emperor energy so whew, that's deep all right so let's see Oh, I want to get the abundance guidance for you. So what's the abundance guidance? Let's see, because clearly this has a lot to do with our 3D. So let's see what's changing here. What spirit wants to guide us? Okay, spirit. This is quite a few. So we know it's um, a lot for a lot of you. So face your financial fears. Yeah. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with a release these and release these self-doubts. So face your financial fears. A lot of you, again, this could have possibly been a loss of job. And, and now how to, to bounce back is something that you've got to kind of process right which is where the forgiving happens right so we have to process to not hold resentment um and feel it's almost like a feeling of something was taken away from you um and this is where the healing you know the time time alone is necessary for you to kind of re-strategize here right 
So block out distractions, yeah. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. So it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by turning off electronics and avoiding anyone or anything that distracts you from what's important. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to responsibly block them out. Now, this is for those of you, like I said, take time out. So if some of you need to like ignore coworkers, if it's, this is not a job loss, this is about refocusing your life. Maybe you guys have family who constantly need your advice and call you all the time. Remember, we're talking about blocking out distractions, turn off electronics, you know, um, and other things that may be interfering with your schedule. Um, so this is about blocking out and making a schedule, right? Because now you're, you're focusing, Spirit is stressing on focusing on yourself right now. Abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what we'll experience. So again, that's why Spirit is saying be in the moment. So this is about abundance mindset. So not believing that you have it now, but also this is the sun energy. Like how do we get positive about our new direction? and not get like stuck um, with our resentful emotions about our, our discontent with where we're at and the noise, the seven of cups, the noise that's going on around us. Because remember, this, could, this is the distraction. It's too much. You're, you're stretched too thin. For a lot of you, stretched too thin. Sever vows of poverty. Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of those vows will be undone for you. everyone involved in all directions of time. So again, there has been a job loss. This is to reconnect with your... Um, belief system about you know your financial fears for a lot of you these financial fears and these a setback right so clearing debts your self-care involves removing the heavy burdens of financial and emotional debts from your life you already feel lighter and freer just by facing these topic this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well thank you spirit so this is what i'm saying the seven of wands it's not just clearing debts, right? It's not just heavy burdens of financial and emotional debts. This is emotional debt. Again, you're stretched too thin. You have to figure out where you, where your efforts are going to go, right? Again, I want to point out Eight of Pentacles is here twice. And so this time alone is to rethink about where you're going to put your efforts. So it could be emotionally, financially. Maybe, you know, some of you, your parents, your family's costing you too much, Um you know, jobs, like taking care of your expenses first. So there's a lot about fears here. And, you know, for some of you, it's it's a transition of work. It's a loss of work. Um, it, it, for some of you, it could be an ending of a relationship that, that puts this predicament as well. And others of you, it could just be, again, you're stretched too thin and, you know, you've hit some hard times right now that, um, you need to clear certain obligations from your energy and come back to your own self-care, right? Your self-care involves removing the heavy burdens of financial and emotional debts from your life. So this is about removing certain things that seven of wands energy um, for a reason. So let's get one more guidance before we close out this reading. Give us one more guidance for Pisces, please. Thank you. beautiful look at this we have the strength card again power we have courage here so i follow the stream not knowing where it will take me but i no longer feel afraid and that's a lot of the courage this tower this stand your ground there's a lot of uncertainty that comes with this and this is to recharge your life to rebuild and to have courage of what you can't see so again to rebuild that trust in yourself um and no longer be afraid of it and celebration there are wonderful times ahead to see the light at the end of the tunnel is a sight worth celebrating take note on how it shines on you so definitely beautiful right i'm glad that spirit is saying there are wonderful times ahead so whatever is happening right now is right now and there's a reason that spirit is stressing for you to really think about where you're applying your efforts and what you're going to do and that it's faded it was brought to your attention 
so you can you can make the adjustments necessary um, to really shift things right now. So um, Pisces, this is your read. Um, I love you. Please like, share, subscribe.